And it's gotta be Settlement Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers This is Davos Hosting the show tonight Rashad was not honorable And so I had to take him out With the power Of the Iron Fist Here we give you views I guess from a different side with my left hand because I'm in the I'm using the fist and when I'm fisting I can't views from a different side. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this show. Here's a man with two personalities wrapped up into one. Go ahead, Mr. <clears throat> Danny J. Quick, also known as Jatori. Uh sure. Uh <laughs> you know who it is. It's your boy Danny J. Quick. Um, Ace Blade in the gang coming through. I had to steal that. Uh, Chuck said it one time when he was impersonating me. So now I always say Ace Blade in the gang just because I like it so much. But <laughs> you know, uh, uh, we here, man. We got uh, uh, Greensboro Comic Con coming up next weekend. I'm excited about it. Um, I have not finished Iron Fist 2, season two. I got two episodes left. But the way that these two guys are talking about it, I don't know if I want to finish it. I, I might just stay right where I'm at. And uh, and and not watch these last two episodes because I feel like some disappointment is coming up. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. What what's up with you, Chuck? How you doing? I see the uh, the Panthers won today. You know? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They they took down them cowgirls. Took down. Took them down. No. But uh, yeah, it's your boy. <laughs> it's Chuck Taylor here. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Um, I did finish Iron Fist. I watched it. Uh. The other I finished up the other night. Um, it's a it's I have I have some unique points of views I guess I could say about this show, but uh, I'm gonna just leave it like that. I don't I don't want to tell too much just by my expressions. So it's a little up and down, up and down. But let's get into this, sir. Let's go. All right. And of course, uh, just to let you know, of course, Rashad, who I had to kill with the power of the Iron Fist and my dragon tattoo here. I had to, uh, he is also the CEO and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music and instruments to march bands all across the nation. Let's get into this show. <laughs> Danny Quick, tell me about this show. How did it win? Um, how did it win? Um, so far, it's, it's definitely better than the first one. They did a lot better with the fight choreography. I'll say it won. Because I have not heard, I've only heard Danny Rand say that he was the immoral Iron Fist uh, one time. And and that was like early, early, early on before he lost his power. Um, so uh, I, I'm starting to like it. You know, I'm on episode eight, eight of ten. And um, it's just really interesting. The character development um, of everybody outside of Danny, because Danny is the, I guess he's the true North character. He's not going to change much. So um, he is Danny Rand. Um, he 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 believes in his little code, and um, but I do like that they uh, they they kind of explain the dragon, you know, pulling him pulling him away from his goody two shoes, like he feels the 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 dragon inside, and you know he's not himself or whatever uh, when he's using the power. So that was pretty cool. But I really liked um, the new dang, what's her name, Mary. Um, that they brought in, she was all the way crazy. But her um, dissociative ID disorder was really dope. Uh, her uh, <laughs> her being the 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 military trained assassin, and then when it rains, uh, becoming her uh, soft docile self, and uh, that was pretty cool. That was a, a, a nice little aspect to uh, to put in there because I really was curious as to what was going on with her until like the sixth episode when they really explain, explained it well. And um, you know, they did some good stuff. The 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 choreography in this one was a lot a lot better than um than the first season, and I think that had a lot to do with uh with it not being a lot of Danny fighting. Yes, we got a lot of, a lot of uh, Colleen Wing fighting and, and using some stunt doubles. <laughs> and the use of some uh, stunt doubles, yes. Uh, I like I like Colleen and um Misty together. Those two have great chemistry. Um, <laughs> Misty is Misty is dope. She 
Yeah, yeah Misty is dope, and I, I I hope we get more of her uh, in the seasons to come. But um, I, I think that it's it's a pretty good show so far. I mean, I haven't like I said, I haven't finished the show, but I would I would definitely say it's um not not in my bottom three right now uh when it comes to marvel netflix shows so that's a win because it's better than the first season and then uh you know i do want to see uh they oh, did hold on a second wait wait so you got jessica jones season two right huh in the bottom three right in the bottom three you got jessica jones season two right jessica jones season two i believe i think my bottom three is iron fist um jessica jones season two and defenders oh okay you get okay okay all right okay i was trying to figure out i was trying to figure out what that third one would be because i'm like (laughs) why why wouldn't it be this one (laughs) (laughs) i was just just disappointed with the defenders i mean it it was okay but for all to have all of them together it should have been it should have been the top it should have been the top but um it just wasn't but um, I liked it so far, and uh, you know I'm only eight, eight episodes in, and I do want to see what happens because um, I'm at a point where your boy just said that he wants um, Colleen to be the uh, the Iron Fist. So I'm like, that's a good idea. That's the smartest thing that you've done the entire show, Danny. The entire show, you this is the smartest thing that you have done so far. Uh, <laughs> Iron Fist, you've been getting your tail beat, bro. You've been getting your tail beat by everybody. Just random dudes on the street beating them up. Uh, people in dry cleaners beating them up. People in restaurants. Beating them up. Everybody beats you up because you don't have the iron fist. Uh, so yeah, it might might be time for you to uh, pass it off to somebody who actually know what they're doing. But uh, right. that's, how, that's how it went for me. Uh, what would you say, Chuck? How did you what What did you like about the first, the second season? Um, first, I uh, just like. To say the second season, I'm gonna say this is the first season because I don't count that first one anything. That was I don't know ne- what that was. The, the first negative time they season. threw them out there, like they just, like you know, they were just filming, and you know, they just had some people around. I was like, let's just throw this on there. Like they had no. I don't even count the first one. I don't even want to think about the first one because that's gonna make me mad. All right, so the <laughs> second one. <laughs> um, definitely, I like the new characters that they introduced in this one. Um. I like that they did not spend that much time with Danny. I think that may have been the best idea of the whole show. Like, just don't focus on Danny, but a little bit. And your show might be okay. Because you put that dude on camera too long, he looked stupid. He just looked goofy. He just do dumb stuff. Like, he don't be making sense. So, I like that they kind of, you know, added, you know, different, you know, they gave a few different stories in this season, you know, that you can watch out through characters. Um... Uh, I really like the villain. I like Davos. Like he was a beast. Like I was like, for mo- for most of, it, I was kind of like Team Dav. Uh, was it Dav- it's Davos, right? Davos. Yeah, Davos. You were okay. t- Team Davos. I was like <laughs> Team Davos for a while on the whole show until he got like a little too much. He was like, oh, just killing it. Oh, you don't, you don't, you gonna reject my offer? Die. You go. Right. I'll keep us killing anybody now. Oh, you looked at me wrong. You want some crack? Die. I'm like, oh gosh. Okay. Well, maybe uh, he needs. He doesn't need that either. I thought he would be better than, than Danny. I thought, okay, he just like a he just like you know a a, a karate fighting punisher. Like he don't right. use guns and stuff, but he just go take him out, make sure they don't come back. They don't Charlie, put him in jail. Charlie, you know that part had to be added later because they were probably <laughs> looking at this as like, dang, Devils is kind of cool actually. <laughs> we're gonna have to do something <laughs> to kind of yeah, make kinda him like out. Devils. Like Devils making some sense. Like he actually gets stuff done. Danny was just run around. Getting beat up by people and then punching the ground and then going uh, going to the sub- everywhere and then all going else, to the subway. <laughs> all, all else fails. <laughs> punch the ground. That's that's, that's Danny. <laughs> I was waiting for like one thing real quick. I know I'm, this is my likes section, and I mean I didn't start my timer. That doesn't count. Um, <laughs> but- <laughs> <laughs> real quick. <laughs> The things I, I, I was wondering, well, no, I'll leave that. This don't make no sense. I'll leave that at the back. I'll leave it at the back. Um, <laughs> anyway, let me get back. Um, the fight scenes were a lot better. I still think they could be you no know, better when they, you know, looking at other films, like look at other TV shows, and I see how the, you know, the kung fu is on some of the other shows. I'm like, wow, like, why can't Iron Fist look like these? Like, they flipping, like, they're doing, like, crazy stuff. Like, I don't know, Iron Fist, like, they just do like regular Taekwondo stuff. Like you might go to a dojo and see them fight 
like mm-hmm. that type of stuff. Like when I see like a superhero type of fight, like when I see in the movies like Blade fighting people, or you mm-hmm. know, um, <laughs> some of the other, yeah, even like with um, uh, Black Widow, like seeing her beat up people it, around, like they do nothing like that. Like mm-hmm. they never do cool stuff like that. So I, I want them to, you know, bring that up a little bit. He's supposed to be the best in the world, and they kind of make jokes at him about that throughout the show. Like, aren't you supposed to be, like, the best fighter in the world? Like, <laughs> I guess we always wondered, like, yeah, you don't know how to fight, bro. Without that glowing hand, you pretty much is pretty sorry. But um, <laughs> I think the film, like, the way they were filming, I, I really like that one scene when Davos was coming to get, I guess, uh, the, the dead body. And he, like, walks in and they, like, keep the, it's like a continuous shot of him as he walks through the um, the warehouse. And he's, mm-hmm. like, you like, he see him kind of like hiding behind the door and then, like, he just walks through and he goes and kill everybody. But it's, like, a con- continuous shot. So, you, like, you feel like you're walking with him almost. I was, like, that, okay. was, that looks pretty cool. Like, that uh-huh. that whole little scene right there was, like, just pretty, pretty ill. Um, what episode other was that? Than that uh, Mary was pretty cool. I I, I, I kind of wanted to see her, her last, uh, her last um oh altar, yeah, her last altar. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that they're saving that one for you know later for maybe some other season because that remind me of uh what was that what's the movie uh uh, uh they're making the third one come out. Uh, what was uh, that one called? We'll do with all the different personalities. Split. Oh. Yeah. Split, yeah, yeah. yeah Remind me of Split. I'm like, okay, she about to go like berserk type dude and start bending bars and ripping people apart and stuff like that. That would be cool. Like that would that would be that would actually that would be kind of like Jessica Jones. Be honest with you. Yeah, like, it would be like her, Jessica Jones' mom on there. So yeah. <laughs> that um that, that character that's... that character the Mary character she's called Typhoid Mary in the comics. She's mm-hmm. a, she's a uh, daredevil daredevil villain, but um. Uh, yeah, she's a she. I think she's a mutant. I think in the in the comic she's a mutant. I think her right. split personality, mutant ability, or something like that. So mm-hmm. uh, we'll see what know. happens that one. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see. Anything else I really liked about the movie? I mean about the show? Oh, I love that it was ten episodes. I got fifty one seconds. I told you I started late. And then I didn't say anything. <laughs> I love that it was 10 episodes. Thank you, Netflix, for listening to us. We did not need to see 13 episodes of this. Like, not of this, We would no. really hate this show. It would go down even further if y'all had, like, five episodes that were just, you know, just crap. So right. thank you for listening to us. 10 episodes is good enough. It, it worked out because it definitely fizzled out by the end of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are probably the, my main things I like about the show. Uh, what about you, Rashad? Oh, man, let me see here. Um, I like pretty much... Everything in the show except the thundering DA that's the center of the show. <laughs> to quote uh, Stick, I mean, I like Davos and Mary. Like the first time that they met and that little standoff that they had. Oh, let me set my timer here so I won't be accused of going over ah, myself. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> yes, but it's like um, you know when she when she had the knife to his neck and dude was like he's not phased like one bit at all. Like I just thought that was awesome. And he was, like you said, Charlie Davos was just a, he was just a great Iron Fist. I mean, number one, the fact that he was able to use it with both hands. I mean, why wouldn't you be able to use it with both hands? It's, yeah. It looks really dumb for somebody to have, just be able to use one hand all the time. It just, particularly when you're talking about like channeling your chi, it's not like you're wearing a glove. It just, it doesn't make sense for it to be just in one hand. So, um, and Davos' is fighting was, was awesome. And uh, like you said, um, uh, Danny, like Danny, uh, Danny Rand, he didn't say I'm the immortal Iron Fist, but when Davos said it, it, it was, was cool. cool. Yeah, it was cool. Like, you Iron are Fist. immortal Iron Fist. Say it again, Davos. Say it again. <laughs> right. Say it, Danny. <laughs> I mean, it was great. Um, the second episode with the battle between uh, Danny and Davos, that was great because they had stunt doubles. <laughs> the episode got so, as soon as he put on that mask, all of a sudden, like, you know, that graphic that you see at the very beginning of the show, like with the character doing all these type of cool moves that you'll never see any place else in the show. <laughs> like, it was right, like, oh, look at that. That was cool. Like, Danny hit Davos with a broken hand. Like, that was. That was awesome. And then how he tricked them and used the sun, like that was awesome. And also I liked um, their different interpretations of it. Like 
Davos made it seem initially that his dad cheated on behalf of Danny, and that's not actually how it happened at all. Uh, Danny uh, Davos didn't get the chance to die for what he believed in, you know, because his dad jumped in. So Danny beat him fair and square. And then the mom was just all on this case. And just shout out to the moms on Netflix, man. We got to figure out who's the mom of the year. I mean, she literally said to him, what did she say? Better that I be barren <laughs> than have a failure like this one. Like, wow. Seven. Yes. Seven. Moms in these shows. And I'm going to use my last uh, two minutes here. Please, Netflix, Marvel, give us Daughters of the Dragon. Please, please, please give us Daughters of the Dragon. I want it so bad because the the people who had the best stuff on the good side were Colleen and Misty. And yeah. their relationship is awesome. How they were getting to know each other. Their their conversation was great. She's like, oh, and one more thing. When I say, hab- uh, what's she say? A habanera. Get me some habanera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that their whole their scene. With the, I don't know what episode it was, but the scene where they um, went to the tattoo parlor that was one mm. of my favorite scenes in the whole, uh, yeah. in the whole show yeah. so far. That was yeah. like the, the way that they approached them together, like uh, the way that they fought together, and then even when they separated and came back, uh, that was like that was like probably my favorite part of the show. Yeah, so I don't. I just want it. It, it seems to me. Cover your ears, Danny. Cover your ears. Go ahead. Cover your ears. <laughs> la, la, it seems to me la. the way the show is going that instead of us getting uh, Iron Fist and Pyro Man, it seems like we're going to get uh, um, Daughters of the Dragon instead. So instead of having, you know, because Luke, Luke Cage apparently is a bad guy now, and Danny is in China <laughs> well, he, with magic he's bullets. In Asia. Oh, he's yeah. somewhere in Asia, yeah, with magic bullets. So they don't now seem he like he can we're light up get... everything, he can light up all his. I mean, parts he wants to light him. Even materials, he can exactly that magical stuff. Yeah, he's gam- he's gambit now, like you said. So yeah, so I right, Danny. Do, 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 do. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's talk about how this show failed. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I know how the show failed. We might as well just go ahead and end the show because everybody is watching this show knows the ways that it failed. <laughs> but because that's what we do, I can't change the show, as I've been told. Go ahead, uh, Danny, and tell us how this show failed. Um, I'm not going to point out the obvious stuff. The way, that, <laughs> uh, the way that the show failed, the intro was too long. It was really weird. I didn't like the intro. You know, the little sequence where he's doing the little karate stuff? I didn't like that. And it was just, it just seemed like it was too long. And I, could skip. I never liked to skip like to skip the intro because like I'm lazy and I don't want to grab a remote control to do that. <laughs> but, like if I wasn't lazy, I would just skip the intro every time. Like you can't skip the intro because that's the only time that you get to see good fighting. You get to see fighting moves. Um that was I didn't like I didn't like that. But uh um also the uh uh the the sister um dang I just had her name up here. Uh, not Mary. Joy. Joy Meacham. Um, mm-hmm. She was just a busybody. Like, sit down. I mean, I understand. Like, <laughs> I, just I just didn't understand why the entire reason, like, you didn't want to. I don't get it. And then even after your boy, like, opened his heart to her, he was like, you don't understand. The, like, that's that, that, uh, that, uh, that little uh that little piece where they were where he was saying you don't understand the stuff that i took for you like i when i when i said that i was in the car accident i came you know bruised and battered like his Mm -hmm. his voice was cracking and all that stuff like he was pouring his heart out to her and she was just like oh but here still here we are i'm like if you don't like (laughs) some some emotion some empathy i just didn't like Uh, her like and like i'm like I said, I'm not at the end, so I don't know if she's. Re- I mean, it seems like she's trying to take him down, but just be on the team. Just get get with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you what are you doing all this for anyway? Um, mm-hmm. I didn't like that Claire is not in this show. I mean, unless I missed her. Uh, Claire Claire is not in the show. She's been. I think she's been in every one so far, right? Mm-hmm. Except, mm-hmm. They mentioned her. 
It's like, um, call Claire. No, nah, we got a doctor. We got a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting when, when your boy got messed up, I was like, y'all, did y'all forget about Claire? Like, three of y'all he know. Said, he, they did say it. They did say Claire. It's like, hey, she should call Claire. She, it was, she was like, what? She's not around or something like that? It's like, <laughs> and then it was like, yeah, we should. I think we have a doctor on staff. And, of course, they didn't have a doctor on staff. I'm like, so why did you even make the comment? Right. Uh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't hear. I like. I was. I was thinking that. I was like, all of y'all know Claire can help. Uh, just yeah. call her. But you know, uh, they did get uh, your boy Turk in there. Uh, Turk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. I like those little Easter eggs to keep to keep doing. You know, I mean, well, this is my not like part. Um, um, I liked. I didn't like that. Um, the 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 relationship between uh uh. Colleen and, and Danny, it just seemed really forced in the beginning. And um, I started liking it more as the season went on. But like the first four or five episodes, I was like, why are they even together? I mean, besides the fact that they both know martial arts, why why would these two people like each other? You know what I'm saying? I, and yeah. I didn't feel like yeah. I didn't feel like in the first season that I mean, I know they were a couple, but they didn't really seem like they were. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't have the right chemistry or something like that. I don't know. Look, Not just, I'm just look, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Um, so about that. Let me come on. Oh, but uh, oh. Of, course, of course, I mean Danny Rand is not not. I think the show would be better without Danny Rand. Um, he did better this season, but. Still, it's just like every everybody else in the show is better. Like Colleen and 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 Misty, um, they should have their own show because their parts were the best. Like like uh like Rashad said, um, I really like Davos, but <laughs> yeah, as a villain at the beginning, I was I was even like, okay, so y'all saw what happened with Serena Williams at the U.S. Open, right? I should mm. like, you stole a point from me. You I you know you're a thief, such and such and such. And they you know she was like, I'm standing up for what I believe is right. I was like, okay, this is what Davos is saying. You stole the Iron Fist for me, you know, so I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing to get it back. I was like, okay, Team Davos, just like Chuck. And then when he started uh, just murdering folk, I was like, <laughs> oh, this dude is evil. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if I would be able to accept that the responsibility of the Iron Fist either. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I like the show, but, you know, it's still not. I still don't think it's the best of the best of uh Marvel Netflix, um, but I'm not done with it yet. So there's still time for it to go up or down on my list. Uh, what about you, Chuck? What you say? It's gonna go down. Um, but uh, <laughs> what I <laughs> how this spelled was that they did not recast Danny. Um, that's one thing. That's like, hey, y'all had the chance find another blonde hair, blue eye guy. Maybe that can actually act. You know, and his little mask went. But he was, I don't know, I just don't like that Danny. I don't like him. I didn't like that he still ain't worked out. Like, he lost weight. He just, he forgot to do crunches and, like, actually get fit. Like, you know, you fight with your shirt off almost all the time in the comics. Like, you got to have abs. You got to look like you've been doing, like, nonstop work and you can work, do push-ups with your fingers and stuff. Like, right. nah, he's, he, he still ain't doing nothing. And then get, um, and had to get good at martial arts either. Yeah, he never got good at martial arts. We saw that when he gets his knee shattered. If you have, I hope you've seen that part. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I was kidding. Yeah. He, did yeah. he did heal quickly from that, though. Well, he had his what, his RAN technology. They had to throw yeah. that in there. Yeah. I was like, yeah, they just screwed on a brace to your knee, and it's all better now. He had, okay. that, Batman. He had that Batman technology from, <laughs> from uh, Batman Rising. Dark Knight Rising. Um, I didn't like – it was kind of slow. Um – more in the beginning of it, kind of. I mean, it had fights and things, but it just was. I guess the point of the show was still developing, so I, I they could have sped that up a little bit and kind of get into the flow. Um, I guess one thing that just troubled me was like we just had a show called Luke Cage, and now that I mean, I think I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that many guns in a show like. <laughs> it's not, they shoot at the bad, the good guys. The bad guys have guns to shoot at the good guys. I mean, I've seen that everywhere. Batman, right. the Superman, everybody gets shot by guns. But in the Chinatown, they don't use guns. 
They use yeah. little daggers and little hatchets. hatchets. They run around to fight you. Like, I'm like, so you mean to tell me they ain't none of you like that? Well, there was one scene that was like, yeah, you, we got all these triads over here and they're packing. I'm like, they actually have guns in there. And you know what? They they said they did have some guns. And you know what? The guy that wanted to fight the Iron Fist by himself chose to pull. He pulled two little hatches out his side of his coat and went into a, a room and closed the door. I'm like, why did you just take a gun with you? Then you can shoot him. Right. I mean, I mean, we we know that that he's not you know not Luke Cage. So I mean, they no. stabbing them with drugs and you know knocking people out anytime you know th while they do hand to hand combat. So I was like, it's not that hard to take these dudes down. I was like, it shouldn't be that hard. No. Like, you can literally just sit outside your window, wait till he drops up, and boom, game over, new villain. So right. I was, I was, I don't know. I just didn't care for that. I was like, this don't make sense. This right. is literally a couple burrows no away. <laughs> There's a couple burrows away. They got nonstop weapons. Like the whole ep the whole season is about guns. They Even our is on the episode. And they all of the guns, guns and how they can shoot. Black neighborhood. They only got guns in the black neighborhood. I, I see. I, I get. Was that what they're trying to say? It's like only black people have guns. There? All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, because they had they got plenty of guns in Daredevil. The Irish people had lots of guns. Oh yeah, they yeah. fight and Punisher, guys. all of them had guns too. So they had guns. You know, <laughs> and one thing, the punch in the ground cannot be the end all of every fight. Like, stop punching the ground. <laughs> and tell me how he did not punch the floor or break the floor, and you saw all the furniture fly up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it was so stupid. I was like, that, you, I you, it. it's zoomed outside to the window. So you think when he punched the ground, like everything's going to explode, right? No. Uh, See the furniture so fly up in the air like somebody had it on like a little, a little, <laughs> little sheet or something. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> all right, now this don't, that really don't make no sense at all. I was like, okay, what just happened there? Particularly uh, since he can punch through concrete. But it, it ain't yeah. going through the floor. It, it ain't, ain't going, going through, through the wood floor. floor. He <laughs> should have punched right to the people downstairs. The people probably like, what are y'all doing upstairs? <laughs> like, yeah, I can't even come home and watch Netflix. Y'all busting down my floor, knocking your furniture all up all the time. But he should have been going crazy. People down there should be going crazy. Uh, <laughs> I cannot stand the way they just pat. All right, Tori. Well, you here. Them passing... The freaking iron fist like his hot potato to other people. Oh, just, oh, just touch his head and take his iron fist away from him. And and I'm gonna just do it and take it from from you. And I'm gonna go. I'm like, okay, y'all can y'all can do better than this. Y'all making the, the iron fist feel like it's cooties or something. It's like nobody right. wants to be iron fist now. <laughs> it's like it's just something. It's just so horrible. Y'all been training all your life and you just you can't handle the iron fist. I just right. I I, I didn't good, understand. They didn't need to have. That that no no that just did not make sense to me. I was so upset about that. Um, and they tra what did they train for? What what was the point of them going to Ken Lau and training? Because they don't know nothing. They they soon as they they like they've been having the same power all these years, and as soon as they get the power, it's something wrong with them. Like they right. can't handle it. But y'all been the ones that are supposed to be chosen to, to do. See, they would have got messed up anyway. You know, uh -huh. if, if they were in Kun Lao and they had to finish, they would have been killing everybody too. Now, hey, you should have ate your breadsticks. Hey, kill you. Hey, you know, you shouldn't have skipped somebody in line. You stole his spot. Kill him. Like, he's going crazy because of <laughs> a power. They just go, care, go kill anybody that does something wrong. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry if I, if I lost you on that, my rant. And uh, last thing that I'm going to talk about, a couple years again, Tori, if you open them. <laughs> this, this crap with the damn, with the day, Iron Fist passing through objects now. We got Iron Fist swords, Iron Fist guns and bullets. I'm like, okay, is this Gambit? Is like he, this is gonna be the new Gambits? Like Iron Fist is basically the Gambit stuff that they just, you know, gotta go touch. Oh, let me throw something over here. Now is Iron Fist empowered? I'm gonna throw it. I'm like, <laughs> well, I don't know is that I don't read Iron Fist comics, but that don't seem right. Like that's gonna be in the comic. He just no. touches things and they turn to weapons, and now he can use those. Right. So, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it there. It's more wrong with this show. It's making me mad just talking about the bad stuff now. Now I don't like it. It's going back right above the second one. I mean the first one. All right, I'm done. Go for it. Go shot. I don't You're know good, what you're talking about, but it You're seems good. like 
You can <laughs> Charlie's <laughs> done. Charlie, 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 really Charlie let us know how he really feel. <laughs> All right. Um, so I told you during the like section, I like everything about the show except the Thunder and DA in the middle of it. So I'm going to explain this. All right. First of all, I don't like him doing what Charlie just said. So I ain't going to say that as far as not being able to handle his. You don't know how to take care of your responsibilities. I don't I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to do your thing. Uh, his choreography is terrible. Like, he, first of all, the whole first thing, the whole first five minutes is the worst five minutes in the whole show. <laughs> it is stupid. I mean, he's sitting there hiding behind one side <laughs> of, a, <laughs> of the door of a truck, and all of the guys are going to shoot their guns until they run out of bullets simultaneously, and the door is open. <laughs> That that was dumb, okay. But in that fight, he looks like a street fighter. He does not look, as a martial artist myself, he does not have any type of string line, whether it be like a hard style, like a karate or a taekwondo, or a softer style, like one of the softer styles of ta uh, kung fu. He doesn't have either one of those. He looks like just a relatively decent street fighter, and I, and I hate that. Um, his whole thing about, he's so naive, like when he sits down with Joy, and with uh with Meacham and and she's like, oh, you know, we need I need y'all to sign the paperwork. He's like, oh, okay, where do I sign? Do you he just said, you know what, Joy, I really understand where you're coming from. Let's take a look at this, and uh, you know, we'll look at everything, and we'll get back to you. Like, how do you run a you're gonna run your company into the ground? <laughs> like, you're a horrible boss. His training with Colleen, okay. How did you go? He just got back from Kunlun like last year. So he's been training like all his life. So you mean to tell me that after a year break, then she's like, all right, you got to do this. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> like, everything she tells him is like, man, seriously, man. Like, how is your attitude like that? Like your, his attitude should be, all right, I'm ready. Like, let's let's go train. Mm -hmm. That's just stupid. Um, Danny, you're going to have to cover your ears real quick. Okay, go ahead. La, 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 la. Him breaking up with Colleen, that was dumb. Yes. That was, like, I understood why they wanted to to not be together dur while during the training. Okay, I get that. She She's so invested in her training that she can't, she can't compartmentalize. Okay, I get it. But dude's dead now, so, or he's arrested now. So, what's the problem? Because Danny's been Iron Fist for a year now, at least back here, so why can't she be Iron Fist? I, what's the problem? That was just dumb. Okay. <laughs> I never did turn my timer on, so I have no idea how much we'll conquer. Um, and let me just say this real quick. I'm going to say I didn't like Joy Meacham that much. I just, her character, I think she overreacted to um, to what Danny everything. did last year. Like the everything. She yes. overreacted to everything. And I didn't understand. What's her relationship with Davos? Like, why was she there? Like, I just All didn't. the time. Yes. Like, like Go home. Go, like, but, go run up a company or something. Yeah. Go, yeah, go, yeah. go run. Right. What was the whole? What was the whole thing about? I'm going to have this uh, company that deals with um, you know uh, light and conversion of light into energy, and then it amounted to nothing. <laughs> but the, the last thing is, can we just go ahead and get an Asian Iron Fist? Like seriously, can we? It's okay. I know he was. He's been white ever since he per first appeared in the character, but now it's okay to change up your characters. <laughs> It's just, it bothers me to watch all these things about Asian culture. You know, you're watching Kunlun, which is based on Asia a little bit. You're looking at the triad and the two different factions, and you get Colleen. So you get all of this Asian culture, and then you get a white dude in the, in the center of it. Like, that's like watching Black Panther, but Everett Ross is the main character. <laughs> Our Luke Cage. You just put it, you keep it in Netflix, have a white dude playing, like, like an Eminem style Luke Cage or something like this. just a hood, <laughs> a hood, a hood uh, white dude. It's like yeah. really? But just, no, it's not gonna work. It's okay. Just go ahead and make him Asian, and, and maybe, and maybe that's what we're doing. Who knows? So, <laughs> I'm done. So, uh, guys, Danny, not not Rand. <laughs> but, oh, and yes, Charlie said my thing. So I'm just gonna double tap on what he just said. Yes, doing ridiculous things with the Iron Fist. Yes, watch the last few minutes of the show, Danny. 
doing ridiculous things with the Iron Fist is a fail. And it take it definitely takes this whole show and knocks it down a level. So yes. We can't wait to get your message from all of us. <laughs> I know we'll be sitting there. He's like, I, I see exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Unless you say, well, I'm the contrarian. I really like that. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> Should people watch this show and your closing spill? Um, I want to use my closing my closing uh, time to talk about another show actually that you should actually go see. <laughs> um, this show called uh, Jack Ryan on Amazon Prime. Yo, that show was amazing. Like it was so good. Um, it had all the you know spy movie tropes. I'm not a really big spy movie guy. You know, I like Mission Impossible. I like you know the Jack Reachers and stuff like that. But as a TV show. This joint really worked. It was, um, I think it was only eight episodes that was the first season, but John Krasinski killed it. Um, I forget the guy's name, but the one who played his boss was amazing. They developed the villain so well. Um, and they like they and unlike this show, the Iron Fist, they got you right away. Like the first episode, if you like the if you you'll know right away if you're gonna like the show, because the first episode they get you. Or, or it's like, okay, I don't want to watch this. So if you watch mm-hmm. one episode, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy Amazon Prime. I mean, I have Amazon Prime, so I, I got to watch it for free. But um, that's another, you know, another investment. If you can find it somewhere, I would say watch it. Uh, but this show, I think you probably skip this one. Uh, Iron Fist. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. But not enough to like set a set aside time. If I'm if I if I was again, if we weren't doing this show, I would have waited until next week or the week after to watch it. Uh, so uh, that's that's been all for me, y'all. Like I said, come catch us at uh, Greensboro Comic Con, Greensboro, North Carolina, September fifteenth and sixteenth. We'll be out there. You can get some Ace Blade books. Lumberjacks will be there. Uh, King Supreme. All of these characters you see up behind me, you can get all of them. But uh. Until next time, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. I want to see that character with the side boob. Who is that? Who is that? That's Zajay, man. That's Queen Zajay. With the side boob? Side boob. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me order. Let me order one of them. <laughs> Put me down for that. Go ahead, Chuck. Oh, um, well, that was very disrespectful, Tori. Very disrespectful. Dis- dis- I'm like, this. Like, if Zajay. should you watch this show, you know what? Let me plug in another show that you should watch instead. <laughs> well, that's it. That's that's. I guess that's, that kind of just wraps everything up. No, you don't have to watch this show. It's all right if you got time and you just want to watch your Marvel nut like like myself and these guys, and you know you just want to make sure everything works together. Like anytime Marvel brings something out, like check it out. You know, I, I yeah, you're gonna watch the show anyway. You probably have already watched the show. But for the people that just want to get into things, no, you don't need to necessarily watch it. It's okay and then it just turns horrible and you know by the end of it so but it has some good parts it does have good parts you can probably skip around some episodes you don't need to watch the whole thing if you don't want to so i'm gonna say yeah only if you want to but uh that's it for me um we're at kfh party easy got some things coming down the pipe so check us out uh on facebook Are y'all doing the aquaman event ain't that the next mo- the next movie we are thinking about that is in the works so stay tuned working out the this winter schedule going down told you y'all need to do it at the pool yeah just freeze everybody yeah have uh, have jason statham come and do some dives (laughs) (laughs) maybe he'll get his hair back right exactly (laughs) um so you know i've been watching uh, YouTube videos and learning more about themes, which I thought was interesting. And um, you could definitely tell that one of the major themes about this show is, is addiction. And it seems like the first season, they were addicted to making a really bad show. And it's like, second season, they recovered. Like, they got a little bit better. Like, they're, they're taking steps. And then at the very end, they had a, re- a relapse, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 so good. I would say if you are a Marvel fan, yeah, you should watch the show because you're gonna watch all Marvel stuff. But if you're just a casual viewer, just pass. Yeah. Pass on this one. All right. 
So you're welcome. That's been our show, guys. Make sure you take a look at the description so you can see many of our other shows because we've got a show just about every week, man, and they're awesome, and we're blowing up. We're getting bigger all the time, so make sure you check us out when we're still young so you can say, hey, I remember when. Uh, as usual, make sure to drop a comment as well. And also, you got to remember to do what, Danny? Subscribe to survive. You got to say, yeah, <laughs> at the end of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ace Blade. <laughs> King Supreme. <laughs> yeah, man, it's hilarious. And of course, this is Color Commentary, where we give you views. Peace. And it's gotta be Gentlemental Alright guys, I think I know how we can end the show. Oh. <laughs> and it's gotta be Gentlemental's Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to